Nine insane ways mummies were put to use. Egyptomania became a trend in the 1700s. People unwrapped mummies at parties. Painters used them instead of paint. Here are more crazy uses. 1. Medicine. Mummia refers to both mummy flesh and embalmed bitumen. It was used as a cure-all from medieval times through the Renaissance. People ingested or applied mummia topically. Famous users were King Francis I and Francis Bacon. Demand rose so high that a black market emerged. Fake mummia was made from slaves, beggars, and even camels. 2. Party decor. Mummy unwrappings grew popular in 1820s Britain. It began with antiquity salesman Giovanni Belzoni. In 1821, Belzoni held a London exhibition. He publicly unwrapped a mummy there. Over 2,000 people attended the show. Surgeon Thomas Pettigrew was one of them. He loved the spectacle. Pettigrew began holding his own mummy unwrappings. The upper class copied Pettigrew. Mummy unrolling spread as a trend. Hosts often used mummies from their own collections. 3. Paper. U.S. paper mills may have imported mummy wrappings in the 1800s. Paper demand boomed then. So some say mills used mummies as material amid rag shortages. The evidence is vague though. 4. Fertilizer. The ancient Egyptians mummified millions of animals. Specific creatures matched certain deities. Cat mummies were particularly abundant. They honored the goddess Bastet. In the 1800s, English firms started buying cat mummies en masse. One company purchased 180,000 cat mummies, weighing 19 tons. They ground them into fertilizer for English fields. 5. Paint Pigment Mummy brown paint came into use in the 1700s. The pigment was made from ground mummies. Many major artists used it. Delacroix, Beachy, and the Pre-Raphaelites. A Paris art store even sold a la mummy branded paint. Some artists, like Burne Jones, didn't realize the ingredient. He held a funeral for his mummy brown tube after learning its origins. 6. Home decor. Trips to Egypt became popular in the 1800s. Upper class people brought mummies home. They displayed them as living room souvenirs. Some kept mummy parts under glass domes. Writer Flaubert had a foot on his desk. 7. Stage props. Mummies symbolize horror in books and movies, but stage magicians used them too. Their creepy exoticism worked on stage. Even fake mummies were effective props. In the 1920s, a fake mummy became a talk show prop. It was billed as an Egyptian prophet named Ra Ra Ra. It appeared to answer questions on stage. The Egyptian mummy somehow knew English. 8. Fake Relics Joan of Arc was burned at the stake in 1431. Her executors burned her body again. Then they discarded the remains. In 1867, a jar claiming to hold Joan's remains surfaced. The Catholic Church recognized it as authentic, but the jar actually contained random mummy parts, not Joan. 9. Fundraising Massachusetts General Hospital hosts an Egyptian mummy. The mummy's name is Padaher Chef. He arrived at the hospital in 1823. It was a gift from the city of Boston. Padaher Chef was put on display in Boston. Visitors paid 25 cents to see the rare mummy. He later toured the East Coast. Padaher Chef eventually returned to Massachusetts General. He has been there for 200 years.